pick up the dirt and I'll throw down some seeds Cause the world needs more spinach No more motherfuckers like me Motherfuckers like me Oh, oh. The second book I'm here to promote. This is truly one of my favorite books. It is called Letters of Insurgents. It was out of print. Yeah! It was out of print for a long time and is now back in print. And I'm very excited about it. And they have it. They have it here. Um, if you if you find that you get bored in your life ever, this book's very long. It will take you a very long time to read it. I'm going to read something from the introduction because uh, I I don't know if I'll find my favorite part just flipping it around. All right. This isn't written by the author, it's written by somebody who just likes the book. Letters of Insurgents is, an, is, a, is a novel written, printed, and published by Fernie Perlman. Okay, that's not important. Um, <laughs> Letters, are, Letters encourages the kind of self-reflection necessary because it is not a book about winners. The victories that occur are quiet victories that make a different kind of sense to those of us who have made the cognitive break from straight society. Other kinds of people can get a lot out of the book as well, but it is targeted straight to the heart of an underachiever like me. I will never be able to put my ideas about how to live into practice, other than in the most fleeting moments and spaces. I will never turn back the tanks, hang the bureaucrats, destroy the interstates, erase the bombs and guns of states, or live in a real community that is free from property and violence. Letters made a convincing argument that I would never be able to make these things happen, and made just as convincing of an argument that I needed to pull my head out of my books and try anyway. In my, in, in my life as an anarchist, uh, there came a sort of point. There, there came a sort of point in my life where I had to reconcile myself with the fact that we are not going to win. You know, at least not the way that people used to talk about it. Like the revolution, the way that people used to talk about it is not going to happen. This is not in the cards for us. If it was ever possible, it is not possible now. Um, whatever, whatever, well, whatever we can do is possibly more modest, but certainly more complicated. Um, and and uh, yeah, the, uh, reading that book uh, gave voice to a lot of things that uh, I had not I had not seen written in words yet. Uh, particularly like um, th there's this. There's this way of fighting <laughs> that happens uh, when you know that you can't achieve your stated goals um, that is both very inspiring and also uh, very, uh, totally heartbreaking. Uh, but I think that we do need to keep fighting because if we don't, it will be even worse than it is now. Um, so I'll play a song that's partly about that. It's, it's, it's partly just about uh, confronting the reality of state repression and deciding whether you're actually, you know, whether you actually believe in the things that you say you believe in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. It was a community college It must have been a riding quartet He said something back Oh, we need the cops to protect us And I snap Protect us like the night when you got kidnapped by the pigs They tore up the house on their way out So when Scott got home, he'd worry you Got taken by somebody worse I played the show that night I thought my blood was fire in my mouth Till he walked into the room still free At least for now And we were young once And sang songs about not giving a fuck Acting like we had some guts Well how about now? Politics, cause no one cares And it's a game like the time the U.S. Marshals came for you Before the sun was up Guns drawn for breakfast Open up this door before we kick it down And we were young once And sang songs about not giving a fuck Acting like we had some guts Well how about now? And we were young once And sang songs about not giving a fuck Acting like we 
have some guts. Well, how about now? How about now? How about now? And then I'll do I'll do a song about you know just trying to just trying to do normal things in life you know trying to have clean clothes oh. <laughs> things like that you know I, I'm living uh life is, life has happened such that I'm at five years sober I'm I'm living in my car and uh, <laughs> it's hard it, it is, yeah. this is this is not a bad thing. Uh, you know, at, le at least me. You know, the reason I'm living in a car is because, like, I'm going to go on tour a lot and uh, d d d I definitely don't want to pay rent on a house that I'm not going to live in for five months. You know, it's a very stupid thing to do. Um, so the reality is that, you know, it's, it's, it's time to live in my car. Um, it's, uh, it, is, it is hard to keep my, uh, my clothes clean. It is hard to, it's hard to stay shaved. It is hard to, you know, even, you know, like, keeping a toothbrush clean that, you know, didn't fall on the floor and you can still put it in your mouth at the end of the day. It's kind of hard. Uh, so the song's about those things. It's kind of like ordinary things and, and trying to keep them in order. All right. On Mondays, I do the laundry at the 24-hour place next to the Dollar Tree. I know that I could walk but not a lot to try. Like he was already a goner. He said he'd like to change if he could grow a spine. I said, When you talk like that, it makes me real nervous. And I don't be inviting to your funeral service. Throw down your fucking chips and play for keeps this time. Like a Thursday when he called and woke me up, I heard you started smoking crack again and got caught up. Catching cases, robbing houses just to stay alive. Yes. Yeah. 